Talking Luther College football with head coach Aaron Hafter and coach, you knew it was going to be tough going down to Waverly, number six team in the country in Wartburg last week. They proved why they're uh, real, real good. Yeah, they are, and you know, I, I think just the the whole game day atmosphere down there was great, and um, you know, they have a good situation with a, a lot of their facilities and things. And they have a very good football team, and you know, our, our kids had initially had a lot of fun. You know, I mean, in, in um, just getting warmed up for the game and. Um, getting prepared to, for for a, for a good contest, and you know when you play good teams, you you can't have uh, mental mistakes and and have um, turnovers and things, and give them opportun you know opportunities. I mean, you have to create opportunities, you know, by them turning it over. And and Wartburg just completely dominated the game in field position, and they execute on all our mistakes and. You know, that's why the result turned out the way it did. And the thing of it is, from a schematic standpoint, they really don't do anything all that fancy. They just do what they do really well, don't they? They, they, they you know, and, and you watch film from not just our game, but the previous games. And, and you know, they, they do a lot of things like they, they try to turn the ball, you know, get you to turn the ball over. And they also um, create field position with their special teams. And, and um, you know, it started off that way. We had to punt into the wind and had a bad punt. And then we... You know, and they took advantage of that, and we just could never get get going. You know, it was 17 nothing. We had a long touchdown run called back, which had made it 17-7. And you think maybe you can claw back, and um, we had that call back, and then it kind of kind of just went downhill from there. And this week, uh, you got Co uh, coming to town. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Co Hawks heading into Saturday? Oh, Coach Staker always does a good job, and you know they'll be very prepared for for the option, just like they always are, and they they have a very efficient. Um, um, you know, offensive scheme. They do a great job, and they've they've been in a lot of games this year. You know, going into the third and into the fourth quarter. Um, so, you know, I I don't think their record's probably where they want to be, but uh, at the same time, they've competed very well against some very good teams late into games. Final home game for a group of seniors here at Carlson Stadium. Never easy when there's a transition of coaching staff throughout your career, but talk about this senior class and how they've bought into what you're trying to get done here. Yeah, and, and we have a very small senior class, you know, and it's one of those, um, it, it's, it, they're a great group of kids, and I, I, I was sitting there talking to them yesterday about senior day and how we're going to do things and the organization of it, and it kind of all kind of hit us, I think, all of a sudden that this season's kind of winding down, and you know, that's, that's unfortunate because we have a great group of kids and of, of course we'd like to have them around for a couple more years just because you see their development every day and, and just within our system and in the weight room and things. But, uh, you know, that's the nature of how college football works and when you're senior, you're done and unfortunately we're losing some very good seniors this year. And uh, over the last three weeks, obviously the results haven't been but you, what, what you wanted, but have you seen some signs of growth in development individually and team-wise despite the results over the last week, three yeah, weeks? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, I, I, it's, it is a process here with our football program. And, you know, we, we talk about that within our football group and our family and everything else. But, you know, and, and you see some of our young kids just really starting to blossom and bloom and get better every week. And, um, you know, we're, we're really looking forward to these last three games and finishing the season strong. And, um, and, you know, in, into this, in, into the future of, of what Luther fo uh, football has to offer. Hopefully, that strong finish starts Saturday, Coach. We wish best of luck. Thanks, Aaron Hafner, talking Luther College football.